Hi, so I'm back with a little bit of a different video today. This one is specifically targeted for growing pains, so aches and pains in the legs, in the knees, hamstrings that is typically associated with, as I say, growing, but it's also really good if you just want a lower body stretch, really slow, really gentle, perfect for doing every day. If you do have growing pains or general aches and pains in the legs, then this can be really nice to do before you go into bed, um, before you get into bed, hopefully a little bit of release for you for overnight. So um, it's really nice if you do have a cushion or a pillow. So just the pillow that you sleep on or a cushion off your sofa, or if you do have a bolster, then that can be really nice to use as well. So we're gonna be really concentrating on breathing today. So breathing through the nose, so in through the nose and out through the nose. That's what's gonna help us breathe in these positions, in these postures, and really help us to relax. Bringing the attention to the breath and concentrating on the breath is just a really nice way to take the mind out of the aches and pains that you have in the legs and in the lower body. So we're just gonna start in our child's pose. So anything that hurts or anything that doesn't feel right, just gently coming out of the pose and maybe entering it in a different way. If it hurts to hold it for too long, then just trying to just build up to the amount of breaths over a period of time and just start to try and get a little bit comfortable when you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Before we start, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor or a medical professional. These are just poses that hopefully will feel better, that will help to give you a little bit of relief, a little bit of release. So starting in our child's pose. So we just bring the big toes to touch, take a gap between the knees, take that pillow or that cushion and just place it kind of between the feet. And you're just gonna sink the weight back towards the heels. So this is stretching out here into the tops of the legs and the quads. You're just gonna extend the hands out in front, take the forehead down to the floor, to the ground, and just start to breathe. So we're gonna take five breaths here. Remember we're breathing in through the nose. We're we'll breathing out through the nose. So really concentrating on relaxing the shoulders and the jaw. So breathe in for three. For four. And take one last breath here. Inhale. And exhale. So gently coming up. Just losing the prop for a moment. Coming down onto your front. And then start off by just bringing the right foot up towards the body, taking the right foot into the hand and just gently folding the heel in towards the body. From here, just trying to deepen the stretch just a little bit, just by picking up the knee, starting to raise the thigh from the floor. If this is too much, then just easing out very slightly. So this is a quad stretch, so stretching into the th front of the thigh, relaxing the shoulders, maybe taking the head just down. So again, just taking two more breaths here. One more, so we're taking five breaths in each pose and then releasing that right foot down. Same on the other side, so picking the left foot up this time, taking it in the left hand, you want to press the left foot into the left hand and the hand back against the foot, just so they're almost working against each other. Again, seeing if you can lift that knee very slightly, start to lift the thigh away from the floor. Again, if that's too much, then just gently backing out. So we're aiming here to get that heel to touch the butt. And then coming back to the breath again. So breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Relax the shoulders. 
relax the upper body and then release. We're going to try and put two feet together now. So we're going to try and pick them up. Take the feet into the hands, the hands into the feet. If they do join, then again, guiding them in, seeing if you can lift those knees. If you can and want to take it a little bit deeper, then seeing if you can lift the chest at the same time. So coming into our bow pose. And then make sure you breathe again. Take two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And then gently releasing here. Just press into the hands. Coming back. Coming onto all fours. And then we're going to tuck the toes underneath. And just gently sink the seat back towards the heels. So you're coming into a toe stretch. You're stretch stretching out all along the base of the feet. If that's too intense, then you can just walk the hands out a little bit. If you want to deepen again, just walking the hands a little bit closer into the knees. Just looking straight down again, trying to relax into the shoulders. And then just taking the attention, so thinking about the area that we're stretching, think about breathing into that area. And then just gently uncurling, just pressing into the tops of the feet just for a moment. It might feel a little bit intense on the toes, giving them a little bit of a wiggle. And then we're going to come up into our downward facing dog, so stretching out into the calves, and the hamstrings here. So starting off on all fours. So this is your tabletop position. So you're taking the hands about shoulder width apart, spread the fingers nice and wide. You're going to tuck the toes under. You're going to send the seat back towards the heels, press into the hands and lifting up the hips. So you're looking between the ankles or the knees. You're going to start pedaling the feet. So you're taking the left heel down, bending the right knee and then repeating. So really pressing that heel down, Stretching out into the calves, into the hamstrings. Remember to look between the feet or the knees. Really long in the spine as well, so the hips are nice and high. And just bending one knee and then another. Really enjoying that calf stretch. Remember to keep breathing. And then you're going to bend the knees, make them nice and soft, and you're going to slowly walk the hands back towards the feet. Bend the knees. So you're trying to get the chest to come down to touch the thighs. So bend the knees as much as you need to. And just gently holding the elbows, just rocking from side to side. So we're really thinking about stretching into the backs of the legs here, the hamstrings. You're also stretching out the lower back. So just swaying from side to side. Really pressing the weight into your feet. So pressing the toes down and the heels. Nice and evenly, just relaxing into the neck and the shoulders here. If this is too much, again, bending the knees a little bit more. So bending the knees as much as you need to. As long as you can feel a stretch in the hamstring, then that's perfect. And then just release. You're going to come down or fours into your tabletop position. Take the hands to shoulder width apart, spread the fingers nice and wide. Take the hips over the knees, tops of the feet pressing down into the floor. Working into the lower back, coming into our cat and cow. So as you breathe in, you lift up the tailbone, you drop the belly and you lift the chin up towards the sky. So really moving into this lower back here. Then as you exhale, as you breathe out, Round into the shoulders, press into the hands and draw that belly button back to the spine. So moving between the two movements, inhale, drop the belly down, lift up the chin. And then exhale, round into the spine, tuck the chin in towards the chest. Three more here, so inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Taking one last round here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. As you exhale, round. 
coming back to center. So staying with the hands here to start with, we're just gonna step the right foot between the hands. So you're gonna come into almost like a runner's lunge position. I'm gonna keep the fingertips down by the side of the right foot if you can. If not, just coming up, making a clasp and just taking the hands onto the top of the right knee. So you want the right knee to be stacked over the right ankle. And then you want to think about really drawing that right hip back, pushing the left hip forward. So we're stretching here into the inner right thigh and into the left hip. So the front of the left hip. And then just breathing here. Again, trying to relax the shoulders. Nice, even breath. So just gentle, slow breaths. And then you're gonna take the hands down either side of the right foot and start to straighten into the right knee. As you do that, you're gonna to start to lift the right toes. If it's too much to straighten into this leg, then just soften this right knee slightly. So take a little bend in the right knee if you need to. Again, we're stretching into the back of the right leg, into the hamstring here. Think about lengthening through the spine so nice and long in the back. So stretching into the right hamstring, also feeling this stretch across the lower back. Taking one more breath. And then bend into that right knee again. Take the hands either side of the right foot and just bring that right knee back, coming back into your tabletop position. So we're doing the same on the left hand side this time. So the left hand comes forwards. Again, taking the hands either side of the left foot, or if that's too much, too intense, then take the hands to the left knee. Remember, left knee on top of left ankle. So just being careful that we don't take the left knee over the right, at left ankle and that it's not too far back. You can bring this right knee in a little bit if it's too much. And if you can feel a stretch in the back of the left hamstring and in the front of the right hip in this position, then it's perfect. If not, then just shift this right knee back a little bit, make sure the top of the right foot is down. And again, just think about squaring these hips off. So sending the right hip forwards very slightly. And then coming into your half split again. So starting to straighten into the left leg, taking the left toes, pulling the back towards the left shin. Again, softening this left knee if you need to. And then breathing here. So stretching into the left hamstring. Again, if this is too much, soften that left knee as much as you need to. Noticing if it does feel uncomfortable. And then just breathing into those areas that feel a little bit uncomfortable. Take one more breath. And then release, come back into your tabletop and you're just gonna come down into a seated position. Bringing the soles of the feet together and then taking the hands around the soles of the feet, just shuffling so the heels are nice and close to the body and then just gently, just pulsing those knees up and down. We're stretching into the inside of the groin and the hip area here. And then just finding some stillness. Take the elbows into the calves and just gently opening out the hips. So bowing the head here and just relaxing the shoulders. Just relaxing the upper body. And then concentrating on the breath again. Just trying to move the concentration from those areas that feel tight and just bring it to the breath. and then release. You're gonna take your first two fingers and the thumb and you're gonna take it round the big toes. So almost like you're holding onto your big toes now. So bending the knees, taking the chest and the thighs together, holding onto those toes, you're gonna gently start to warp those heels away. When you get to the point when you feel a stretch in the hamstring, so in the back of the thighs, you're gonna, you're gonna stop and you're gonna hold it here. As we stay here for a bit longer, you might find that it eases a little bit and those heels can slide a little bit further away, making sure that the chest and the thighs are in contact with each other. 
If it gets to the point where it's too much, just again, holding here, breathing here, but then if you can, gently work it forwards. So you're stretching into the backs of the hamstrings, so the backs of the thighs, and also again across the lower back. Relaxing here. Again, just bringing that awareness back to the breath, taking it away from the hamstrings, concentrating on breathing. Just take one more breath. And then coming up, releasing it. And then lastly, just making your way down onto your back, bringing the knees into the chest and just rocking from side to side. So releasing off the lower back. Taking as much time as you need to here. And then we're going to take the right foot to the floor. So keeping the right knee bent, take the right foot to the floor. You're going to cross the left ankle over the right knee. And you're going to take the left hand and press the left knee away. If you can feel a stretch here in the left hip, then staying here. But if you want to take it up a little bit further, then reach the hands behind the right knee and just draw that right knee into the body. So this time you're feeling a stretch in the right hip. So in the top of the right leg, the left leg, you can feel that stretch. If you want to take it up again, just lengthening into that right leg. Take one more breath and then release. Take the left foot down to the floor this time, bend in the left knee, cross the right ankle over the left knee, take the right hand to the right knee, press it away. So you should feel a stretch here in this right hip area, maybe in the front of the right quad a little bit. If you want to go deeper, take the hands behind the left knee and just draw it in. So this time, you may be feeling a stretch here. So this is the base of the glute, the top of the hamstring. Maybe you're feeling a stretch all the way down the back of the right leg. Again, if you want to go deeper, maybe stretching out that left leg. So this time, we're adding a stretch onto the left-hand side as well. So we're stretching out the whole of the lower body this time. And then breathe. And release. Just hugging those knees in again one more time. And then just spending as much time as you want to or you need to in this position. Just relaxing, just breathing. And then you are done. So hopefully the lower body, the lower back feels a little bit more relaxed, a little bit lighter, a little bit looser now. So these um, poses, these postures are perfect to do every day or every other day. I would say they're perfect to do before bed or even after um, an exercise session. Then you should feel a little bit more relaxed and a little bit freer. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. And I hope you enjoyed it.